Hi everybody, if you're new here, welcome. My name is McKenna and I'm going to be participating in the Disney Cultural Exchange Program 2024. So it is currently December 20th, 2023, and I just got an email from Disney like about half an hour ago saying complete your role checklist in preparation for an interview. I got an interview with Disney. Um, I just need to select what date and time I want to go where, so yeah. So the dates that were available for us to pick as Canadians for the CEP um, interview dates are Toronto, which is the 8th and 9th of January, then it is Vancouver, um, 12th of January, and then Montreal, which is the 15th of January. So I picked Vancouver because I could find cheaper flights to fly out there because I'm from Manitoba. I had to fly somewhere. So, yeah. Hi everyone. So it is January 2nd and I think I have finally figured out where I want to rank everything for my role checklist. So we're gonna do that now and then we're gonna submit it so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So starting off here, our first option is quick service food and beverage. I've been doing that for the past six years. I've been working in a fast food restaurant for the past six years and as much as I do enjoy it, I don't know if I want to like rank it high. I know I'm good at it, that's the thing. I'm good at it because I've been doing it for so long. I think I'd thrive there. I think it'd be so fun, but I kind of want to see if I could put it a little bit lower so that way it gives me a little bit more opportunity to try other things. So um, I'm going to leave that till after, see where I kind of rank everything else. Merchandise. This is what I'm most interested in. Um, I always have such a great time whenever I go to any of the retail stores in Disney. And one thing that really popped out to me on here, it says preparation of food and candy. And that really intrigues me. I think it would be so fun to work at one of the candy stores, one of the places that makes little desserts and treats, like the Main Street Confectionery. Confectionery? I think that would be so much fun. Um, and I like the, I like the, um, the outfits that they wear too. The costumes, they're kind of cute. So I'm gonna rank this as high interest. Next one is lifeguard. So here's the thing, you don't have to be a certified lifeguard to apply for this position. Um, I think I'd be fine. Um, the only thing is that I don't like to wear contacts. And I, like, I've never had a good time with contacts. Contacts always irritate my eyes, which is why I always wear glasses. So I don't know how well I'd do with it. So I'm gonna put it as low interest. Um, I'm sure I'd be fine if I did get it, but I just, like I'd be going around blind because I'd have to order contacts and it takes me a million years to figure out how to buy contacts. So yeah. Um, attractions. This is another one that I'm very interested in. I think keeping up with the theme of a, of a attraction is so cool. I would have so much fun. Um, you get to do so many different things in this role. Like you switch out constantly. Like every two hours you kind of switch so that way it's not tiring for you. I need that. I can't be doing the same thing for, oh, I can't be doing the same thing for like five hours, eight hours straight, like standing at a register or not standing at a register, sorry, standing at like an operation thing or standing outside for eight hours. Um, so I like that they kind of make you move, like you move around and that's what keeps me awake. Um, custodial, listen, custodial is I've heard that it's actually pretty fun. You get a lot of free range when you do it. Um, it's a blast. I don't think I'd love doing it. Um, I kind of like having a little script to stay to. So I'm putting it as low interest. <clears throat> Though I won't be mad if I get it. I just, I think I'd get bored real easily. Um, okay, next one, character performer. What am I yawning, everyone? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Character performer. I'm going to put this one as a low interest because you have to audition for this role. 
Um, I am quite tall, but I'm also a little bit on the bigger side. So I think I'd be fine in like a, like a Chippendale kind of costume, you know? But um, they have an offer that for a few years. So I'm not going to be expecting that I go into it with this. Um, same thing with like housekeeping. I, I don't think I'd like housekeeping that much anyways. I'm putting it as low interest because it hasn't been offered for a while. It's usually not offered for um, first time applicants. So, and I don't, I don't know if I'd have a lot of fun doing that. Like I'm sure it'd be fine, you know. Character attendant, here's the thing. I know this one isn't gonna be offered, but I'm gonna put it as high interest anyways. I think that'll be so much fun. It is a very popular role to get. A lot of people do apply for it and um, they just, like, international students usually never get it. I think it'll be so much fun. <sighs> so, I don't know. I would think I'd have a blast doing it. Um, okay, the next one, recreation attractions. This one is where I am very confused. It hasn't been offered for a little while. Um, I think in my interview I will ask, though, like, just because I'm curious. I thought that this was like you do like the nighttime spectacular kind of things like at like the par at the not the parks at the resorts like movie time s'more time kind of thing poolside activities but i don't know i don't know because it's cash handling strong swimming skills i don't know it's got a lot of random stuff on there so i'm not sure that's what i was assuming it was like children activities i don't know <laughs> so i'm gonna mark that as moderate interest i think I don't know. Um, okay, next one, and I think this is the last one, is Cedar. Yeah, this last one is Cedar, and that's just being a host, I'm assuming. I'm gonna mark it as moderate. I've never done hosting before. I think that'd be fun. I think I'd be pretty good at it. Um, it's just a little bit different, you know? And yeah, okay, we're gonna go back up to quick service food and beverage. I'm gonna mark this one as moderate. Um, and I'll explain it to them in the interview why a marker why I mean obviously it'll change like everything will change when I Have my interview because they will tell me what roles are actually available and all that stuff um, But I think so last year they only offered um, attractions quick service food and beverage merchandise custodial and cedar so if those are my five options, again, I think I would rank it as number one, merchandise, number two, attractions, number three. This is where I need to think about a little bit. It would either be Cedar or Quick Service Food and Beverage. Um, and I just think that they would put me in Quick Service Food and Beverage. But I don't know. I want to work somewhere like making, oh, like Dole Whip. That would be awesome. Like what if I worked at one of like the resorts or... What if I worked at like the Polynesian making Dole Whip there? That'd be awesome. That'd be so much fun. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is going to be my ranking for everything. So my ranking. <sighs> Quick service food and beverage is moderate. Merchandise, high interest. Lifeguard, low interest. Attractions, high interest. Um, custodial, low interest. Character performer, low interest. Um, housekeeping, low interest, Char uh, character attendant, high interest, recreation, moderate interest, cedar, moderate interest. And I think it's fine that I'm com that I'm put three of them as low interest because like I kind of have my justifications for them. Um, and they're not going to turn me away just because I put something like you can be marked something as low interest and you can still get it. Like that's fine. I just telling them how I feel. So. I think this is my ranking. So I will enter in all this information. <laughs> and what date I have finished this on. So, yep. So back in November is when the applications opened for the Disney Cultural Exchange Program. So I believe they opened up on November 10th. And then I finished applying on November 11th. And I didn't really hear anything for a while. Um, December 20th is when I got my interview. I mean, you must have seen all of that before this video. I'm sure I'm going to be posting, like, putting that all before this video. Um, but 
yeah, so this is where we are right now. It's currently January 24th. I have accepted my offer. I just need to start paying my fees. Um, that's what I'm gonna be doing this week once I'm done with all my school stuff. Okay, my friends, I am so excited to be participating in this program over the summer. I, this is a, like a dream come true. I get to spend the summer in Disney World. I get to create magic for other people. I get to meet so many other amazing people who just want to create magic and just leave this lasting impact on their lives. I, I'm just so excited. I leave. So the program starts May 13th. 2024 that's in three months isn't that crazy but on january 23rd i woke up to a very special and magical email telling me that i was accepted into the disney cultural exchange program for 2024 so when i got my offer letter it tells me what position that i'm going to be doing so the positions that end up being offered for the 2024 cultural exchange program was um, quick service food and beverage, merchandise, attractions, custodial, lifeguard, and cedar, and recreation activities. Yeah, those are the ones that were offered. So um, when I had to complete the role checklist, not all, like the ones that aren't on there, like character performer, or character attendant. Um, but yeah, so I had to rank them all and you would have seen that. And then during my interview, she asked me what my top three choices would be. So I said that my number one would be merchandise. My number two would be, um, attractions. And then my number three would be quick service food and beverage because those are the most high in demand jobs. So, um, there's more guarantee for me to get a job in that position um yeah so i am happy to announce that you will be able to hopefully find me in a park but maybe in a resort um i'll be working in merchandise so i get to create little magic for people all day i get to you know i might get to make some delicious treats i might get to be stocking some shelves i could be working a little bubble stand i don't know um, I'll get to, like, park hop a little bit. I get to... <sighs> Why am I yawning? Oh my goodness, hopefully I can edit that out. I will be able to pick up shifts at other locations around the Walt Disney World Resort. I am so excited. I get to pick different costumes and everything. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm.